Wow, a lot of people. This is my first live. I hope that will be uh, will be okay. Okay. Uh, I think that two weeks ago we we did a, a question in Instagram if someone has questions of my life, and we have a list of eighty questions that we have to to answer. And for this reason, we decided to make this live and explain sorry this is the telephone of the office and my first life will will be explain first a little bit of my life my career and is what i'm going to do if you have any questions more you can ask here in 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 the in the chat that we have on the live okay first uh, to explain that i was born in a in a family in in a in a bakery and pastry family business and this business was created with with my parents my parents they decided to open a, a pastry and bakery shop when they were 50 years old and i was i was born in this business and i was growing up uh, um, involved with flour, with chocolate, with sugar and always I was saying since I was a child my parents working on, on this business. No? Then I started on the, on the school, I, I went to the school, I started to study on, on the regular school, the classic school, and I realized that the, the school was not my, my thing. I always wanted to work by hands, but not study too much. And for this reason, I think that I decided to become a pastry chef and to start to work on, on my family business. And it's for this reason that when I was 14, 14 years old, I decided to leave the school and start to work on the family business. This was when I was 14 years old, I started to, to work. Then I started to study bakery in, in Barcelona in a, in a, wood, in a school of, of bakery, of baker. Of bakery, and then uh, I went to the to the pastry school to study to study pastry in the Gremio de Barcelona in, in, in the center of Barcelona. I was three years studying pastry, and then I started to travel a little bit to some 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 courses abroad. I was in France. I was in in Italy, learning from different chefs. And finally, when I have, I, I had 25 years old, I started to work on the, on the family business and work and try to build the business with my, my parents and with my, brother, with my brother. And when I was around 33 years old, I was a, a little bit worried, worried in, my, in my business and I decided to start to do competitions because a competition is a thing really interesting where you, where you have to improve your skill in a really short time. And, and for this reason, I started to do some competitions. No? I remember that the first competition that I did was in the semi-final for the Coupe du Monde in Spain and was in ice sculpture. And I was creating a, a sculpture uh, with, a, with a beer and with a ice, ice cream entremets. And they chose me, the jury, the jury chose me for go to the final, to the Coupe du Monde in 2009. And this was my, my first competition. I, I remember that I was really nervous because it was the first time that I was working in front of a jury. And I think that everybody, everybody, the first day when you participate in a competition and you are in front of the jury, you think, wow, I'm, I'm going to die. This is too hard for me. And that was a really, really good experience for me because I, I grew up. I started to work with ice sculpture and this was really, really interesting because it's a, it's a kind of techniques that you have to work you have you need the techniques you need the skills for ice sculpture and also you need that really good uh, physic because it's really a really physic uh, techniques no 
And then, then when I finished this competition, uh, they they called me for go to the CJEP in Rimini for the Coupe du Monde ice cream, ice cream Coupe du Monde. And the team was really a lovely team from Spanish ice cream makers. And they invited me to, to have a part of the team. And I started to work with them. And finally, in, in, I think in January, February of 2008, I went to this competition. And we finished fourth on this competition. But, but the result was not, not so well for us because we were working really hard. But for me, my, this experience was really interesting because I learned the importance about the, um, about the techniques and about the, I, the, the ingredients. No, and this is a thing that is, is the most important thing when you want to create uh, ice cream recipes. No? You need to understand perfectly the ingredients that you are using because if not, it's not possible to, to adjust the recipes. And, and you need to understand perfectly the techniques that you are using. No? And this was a kind of inspiration for me to later create the, um, the big concept the big concept method, no? Then I finished this competition and I started to prepare the, the Coupe du Monde for 2009. This was the first time that I went for the competition. And I remember that for prepare this competition, I went to Alain Chartier in La Bretagne, uh, in France, for prepare. He, he, he helped me in the, in the preparation for the ice sculpture and the entremets gla glacé, no? The, 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 um, frozen entremets and we were working with Alan during one week to he he taught he teach me how, how to use the tools for ice sculpture how to create a good balance in in an entremets in a frozen entremets for a competition and and then finally I went to the competition we were working with a team there was Makito Hiratsuka uh, he is now in, in Taiwan, and also Ariel Mendizabal, that, that is a chef from, from Spain. But, but when we went to the competition, the, the problem that we had is that we went, we, we've been working a lot, but we've been working separate, no? And when you go to a competition that is a team, a team competition, you need to work as a team, no? That means that you need to work with the whole team uh, the more time that is possible, no? Because if not, you don't know the other, the other chef that are working in the same team like you, and it's not possible to adjust the work that, that you are going to, to do on, on the competition, no? And finally, we went to the competition in 2009 with this team, and we finished second last. This was really, really bad result, really bad finish, no, on, on the competition, but... I can say that maybe it was the worst day or one of the worst day of my life, but was really good for me because I learned what 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 you need on this competition, no? And, and this this was the good part of this of this experience, no? And then when I finished the, this competition, we finished second last, and three months later I started to start to rework, to build a new, a new team and try to go to the competition because I was thinking that in Spain we have a, a lot of good chef. I think that we have a, 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 lot, a, lot, a, a good culture for the, for the desserts. And I was thinking this is not possible to finish second last for a Spanish team. I, I was realizing that for Spain was possible to, to make a good result. And for this reason, I decided to restart another time to prepare the competition. And I started to work and we created a new team. And, and this time was a huge difference. No? We, we managed the team as a company. And this was uh, thanks to my sister because my sister is a specialist in team building and, and to manage this kind of, of teams. And she, she helps 
us to, to create the new team and choose the right people to arrive uh, in a good condition in a, in a competition. No? And we have started to work for the, um, for the competition. This way was not easy because during two years of preparation, we had a lot of, a lot of problems on, on, the, on the team. And, but finally, in, in, uh, when it when was August, August in 2010, uh, we, we had the last, last, la, the last team, no? that was Jose Maria Rodriguez in chocolate and Julian Alvarez in, in sugar. And we started to work together. The team was, uh, really, was really good. No, we we had a really good connection between between us, and we started to work really really hard day by day, working, trying to work the best work that that you can know for present at this competition, and and finally uh, in January of 2011 we won the competition, the Coupe du Monde, and this day was wow was. was was incredible, no? Because when you win this competition, it's like your 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 life changes, no? And you, I think that you restart in your in your job, in your in your work, and you start to think that you have a lot of possibilities, no? In 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 pastry, and was like that, no? I I never think it about to do demonstrations, for example, and. Rabbi Fruit Company called me for do a, a demonstration. I, I remember that the first demonstration that I did was in, in Budapest with with Jean Michel, one 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 friend of me, and he, he was working in Rabbi Fruit in this in this epoch. And I went to Budapest and I started to teach and to do demonstrations around around the world. And and then I started to see that to teach is something really interesting and I love it to share with the people. And for this reason, uh, uh, at this moment, I started to think that my focus was to open a, a school and to start to teach here in, in Villa de Cans, in my city, near to Barcelona. And, and, and I started to, to travel a little bit more. I started to understand what the people needed no, to learn. And at the same moment, I, I realized that I was working with recipes of other chefs, not my own recipes. I was working with a lot of books. You can see that behind me, there is a lot of books that I used for use the recipes or for inspire me. And, and this was not so good no, for me because you became world champion, but then you are using recipes of other chefs and what this is not, I think it's not interesting, no? And for this reason, I, I started to uh, try to understand why we are using some ingredients in pastry, why we are using some techniques in pastry. And little by little, I, I build a kind of way to create my own recipes, no? And this is what is the concept today, no? At the beginning was just for create the recipes, but then I started to be vegetarian. Uh, I started to remove daily products from my, from my personal life. And this also inspires me or helps me to understand that sometimes the classic recipes are, are too fatty or are too sweet or are too eggy taste. And this also was really aggressive for me, no? Because I was eating vegetarian meal every day and then I was eating cakes that for me was really a strong flavors. And, and for this reason, I decided to focus on try to make uh, to create a healthy pastry with with this method, no, with the concept method, and finally we I I think that I was like three or four years trying to understand everything and trying to build you know, um, the way for create recipes, and finally in 2015 in Barcelona we presented the B concept method and B concept method is a way to create recipes from scratch. It's a step by step where you finally you can create your recipes and and these recipes always when we create these recipes we are focused on create healthier, lighter and tastier recipes. No, and this is what we presented in two thousand. 
uh, in 2015, and we started to, to teach this in our school in Miladecans. And since 2015, I don't know, but maybe I think that 1,000 people uh, passed through our school for learn this method. And, and that, that, that is a little bit of my, my history, no? until, until 2015 was like that. And then I started to teach the concept method in my school and travel in some other schools uh, around the world for for share the the method no uh, we have some some questions of some people here that ask directly uh, dire direct questions and for example we have a questions uh, let me see just one second if you have any questions of course eh, ask me directly here to the to the chat no There is someone that asked me, could you share some tips when you started? What difficulties you have you faced in pastry? When I started in pastry, the most difficult thing was for me was the the when I was learning on on the school and on the different training trainings. Uh, the big problem for me was that sometimes the people keep the secrets with them. No, the chef, they they teach you, but they don't show you everything and all the, all the information is, no, is no, not clear, no? And, and this was maybe was, was one of the um, more difficult things for me. And I think that this was the, the thing that for this, no, a little bit for this reason, I'm, now I'm teaching and I'm trying to help the people to, uh, to avoid this situation. No? And for this reason, the people that comes here, I try to, to share everything. I try to explain everything that, 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 uh, what, we, that, that what we know. No? And for this reason, we are always sharing everything that we know of pastry. No? We have another question here. We have a lot of, a lot of questions. Uh, there is someone that asked me about the vegan, pro, vegan, vegan course. For the next year, we are, we are working in a new project with Dinara Casco. And Dinara created five new shapes. And together with Dinara, we created the flavors. And one of these products is, um, is vegan. And for the next year, we will we will teach this this product in our course. Will be the first vegan product that we are going to to teach for the for the people that will come the next year. No, and the idea is to make vegan and healthy products. That means that there is some ingredients that normally we use in vegan pastry that we are trying to remove from these recipes. No? We are always focused in all our recipes, we are focused always on, on, healthy, on healthy parameters. No? There is another people that, que opinas de las premezclas para pastelería? Someone asked me about the mixes no? that, you can, that you can buy for, for prepared recipes. No? Of course, these companies, they, they, their interest is to sell a product, no, to facilitate your job. But no, and but for me, it's not interesting because I, I want to create my own recipes and I want to work in my way, no. And for this reason, I never use ready products, no, to make. I just I I understand the techniques. I understand the ingredients that I need to use for create the textures and. And this is what I do, and I work with my recipes. No, then of course every business, every situation, every chef has has to adapt what he uses for for his production. No, and and of course if you use a good quality products, why why not to use uh, premixed products? No, but of course for me I'm not going to use these products. No? I prefer to create my own recipe and work on my direction. Because like that, it's me who controls what I'm doing, no? Jasku has a good question. Hello, how are you? More questions. Boris from Los Angeles. Hello, Boris. Wait, waiting to come in April. Next, next April, we, we are 
traveling to Los Angeles with Boris, and I hope that we we will visit and we will have a lot of people there. Why we need to wait for 45 degrees when to put pectin? We we don't need to wait until 45 degrees to add pectin with the sugar. Um, just the um, the logic the, the logic answer is what happens if we add, for example, pectin at 20 degrees. When we have pectin at 20 degrees, it took more time to be dissolved on the on the liquid part, no? What happened if we heat the water or the puree at 45 degrees and we add the pectin with the sugar? Pectin is going to be hydrated directly when it's in contact with the liquid, no? And this comes from because we have temperature, no? If we don't have this temperature, it took more time, but of course it's going to be dissolved. For this reason, you don't have to be you don't have to be afraid about the temperature. You can start 30, 35, 40, 45 degrees to add the pectin and will be exactly the same result at the end. The pectin, what needs is a good balance of the, of the acidity. We need to control the, the pH range and we need to control the quantity of dry extract that we have on the compote, but that's it. Then if we add the, the pectin with the sugar at 20 degrees, nothing happens. More question. Do, 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 do. You have more questions, which could be more questions from. Yes, I hope that you will come from Theina. Theina, okay. I'm reading your message. Do, do, do. For the information, he, he uh, this this lady is asking me about the. Uh, the courses for all the information that you need about all the courses you just need to contact my team the mail is info at .com. if not you can go directly to jordibordas.com to our pe to our home page and in the home page you go directly to the big concept courses courses and there you have all the information but any questions that you have you can contact my team and of course Puri is in charge of the customer service and she will answer all the questions that you have. What is the difference between NH, pectin and X58? Pecti between NH, pectin and uh, pectin X58 is that NH, pectin needs acidity Acidity, that means that we have to check the pH range that we have in the recipe that we are going to add. And, and then we need to control the dry extract. Normally, for my experience, I know that if uh, I'm going to create a recipe with pectin and edge, I need minimum, I need minimum 20% of dry extract. That means dry ingredients on the recipe, minimum 20. Normally, the, the technical file where you see all the information, they put 40%. But I know for experience that 20 is enough, no? And then the difference between NH and X58 is that NH needs acidity and a minimum of dry extract. And then for pectin X58, we need calcium. Okay, calcium is going to make react the pectin. For this reason, we, we don't need acidity. We, no, we just need ingredients that contains calcium. And normally what, what we are going to, to use as an ingredient for when we use this kind of pectin X58 is dairy, dairy products, no? For example, cream, milk, all these products that contains calcium, this calcium is going to make react pectin X58. Okay, thank you for, thank you for the questions. Hello, Pavel, how are you? Waiting for you, eh? It's, okay, I, I have a message from Chef Pavel. He's a, a guy that came last year here and he is coming with a group next year to our school. Saludos desde Gran Canaria, Juan Carlos Petri. Thank you. Thank you, Juan Carlos. We have more questions. More questions. There is... No, esta pregunta estaba bien, eh? Oh, there is a person that asked me uh, how I see the pastry industry in the next five years. No, I think I think that we have to change a lot of things. No, uh, today the necessities 
of the people, of the customers, are really different than 20 years or 30 years ago, no? And there is one, one thing that I'm sure that we need is to adapt all what we do to these new necessities that we have on the market, no? I, I'm just not thinking in special characteristics like vegan, like uh, gluten-free or lactose-free products. I need that we have to rethink or rebuild or not all the pastry because there is a amazing product that, that we can, of course, we can continue, but there is a lot of recipes that we can transform and we can adapt to the new necessities that we have today on the market. No, And I think that this is the world that we have in the next next five years that we have in front of us or five or ten years no more more time we spend to improve our our products more time we will need to to transform our industry no i have a question from singapore okay you want sorry yeah I Another question, to use a digital refractometer, do you need to cool sample uh, at 20 degrees? Of course, if you, if you cool down the, the, the sample at 20 degrees, you will have always the same lecture, no? Normally when you work, for example, with activity water meter or you work with a refractom activity water meter or refractometer, it's better to take the the measurement at the same temperature and like that you will have always the same the, the same answer no and a stability with your answer no but normally what i do with the refractometer is if i'm for example working with pata fruit i just me i just put a drop a droplet on the on the on the refractometer and i check directly the the um, the degrees bricks that I have inside, no? And there is not a huge difference to work at 20 degrees or just to remove from the boiling recipe and measure, no? Because just on this moment, it's going to decrease until 20 degrees, okay? Then we have more questions. Hello from Belarus. Hello, very, thank you very much to follow us. Thank you for your support. Okay, hello, Chef. Want to do demo? Uh, 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 chef that was in Singapore in a demo of me. He asked me about if I studied food science to understand the ingredients better for application. Oh, I didn't study it directly food science because I'm focused on pastry, but what I do is to read a lot of books, no? And I try to understand perfectly when I use an ingredient, why I'm using, why, why I'm using this ingredient and, and what this ingredient is going to do in my recipe, no? If I, and if not, I, and if not, I understand this, this of one ingredient for me is impossible to use, no? What the people learn when they come here in, in our courses of B-Concept is that the first, you need to understand the ingredients and the techniques. And when you understand the ingredients and the techniques, you can start to create your own recipes, no? If we don't understand the composition of the ingredients, we don't understand the recipe of these ingredients, and we don't know how to use it on the recipes, it's not possible to use them on the on the right way no for this reason always i try to read a lot to to when i have a new idea of of to cover for example a new necessity new, a new necessity i try to find new ingredients to adjust the recipes on the way that i need no you have on the on the market you have a lot of books that explain uh, information in general about the ingredients then of course you need to link all all this information no this is this is another another thing we have more questions <laughs> yes are you planning to write a book okay we need we need time okay to um, to write a book uh, of course we are working on that but we need a long time because we want a book not a recipe book and pictures book we want uh, to create a book that is going to explain what is B concept and B concept is a little bit complicated to explain 
in a in a book and for this reason we need a little bit more time but of course in the future i hope that we arrive to create this book and we we will share this book with all our followers we have another question is it a big difference in cost between the concept desire and the regular one this is a good question a lot of people ask me this in in the courses and what happened in general uh, i know that in the big concept recipes we have around in 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 average no because of course I never check just one product. No, for example, in my family business where we sell pastry products, when I have to see the cost, I see the cost in a medium in a medium range of products. No, I analyze, for example, ten petit gâteau, and I I check the medium cost of each petit gâteau. No, what's happened when you are working with the concept? You add more. Uh, for example, when we work with with recipes with fruits we add more puree on the recipes no what's happened puree is expensive than other ingredients no that means that in general we have around 10 percent more costs when we work like the concept method no what happened in the recipes that we work with puree we are going to work with more puree and this is going to increase the cost but then when we work with chocolate we are going to work with water because there is one thing that is interesting with chocolate is to work with chocolate and try to keep the clean taste of the chocolate that we are using. No, we are working with a really good quality chocolate from Switzerland. We work with a company that called Felklin, and this is a small company that produces a premium chocolates with beans that comes from the other side of the world. And and what's happened if we are working with with other main ingre or other other ingredients the chocolate will change no for this reason we use chocolate and water that means that in this recipe the recipes will be less expensive than the classic one no but then is a, is a range no another thing that we have to understand is that when we are working with big concept method in on the recipes we have for example ingredients that are really interesting for the people no for example we work with inulin inulin is a um, a really good fiber for for the body this fiber comes from the um, from the chicory root and we are using on the for example we pre we prepare a meringue with inulin no and this fiber is a benefit for the customer in the health direction okay that means that if we share this with the people that is eating or that is buying this kind of products this, this will be a uh, a uh, good values no a good good thing for for your shop no for this reason of course we are going to increase the cost with the concept but then you have a lot of things that are interesting to communicate to your customers in order to increase the um, the the sales and and to show them that your pastry is healthier than than the other other paste other or other pastries no more questions Cayo, Cayo, creo, Cayo, I think he's from, he's from, from Portugal or from Brazil. Uh, he asked me if the concept is, is possible to applicate in, in ice cream production, no? I never tried it, but I know for experience that you can work on the same direction, no? The logic, the step-by-step -step of the concept is the same step by step that we can use for create a ice cream ice cream recipe okay and i think that you can use the same the same logic the same step by step for ice cream no the thing the only thing is that the um, the parameters will be different no because we are teaching the people to create for example gelatinos textures creamy textures most textures and ice cream is completely different no in ice cream you have to control for example the anti-freezing power no in pastry we can but we don't need to f to, to control this parameter no and for this reason it's a little bit different difference the parameters that you need to control in ice cream and the parameters that you need to control in different textures in pastry but of course you can use the same logic for example for ice cream you can use the same logic for ganache you can use the 
same step by step, for example, for sauce, for, for savory wall, will be, this will help you to build the, the texture, okay? More questions. Hello from Belgium, Chef. Thank you. Thank you, Maria Ferna Fernandez, I think. Okay, another question. Thank to, to. We have more questions. Pati, Pati, muchas gracias por tu mensaje. Me encanta todo lo que haces. El otro año tomaré un curso con usted. Muchas gracias. Me puedes hablar de tú, eh, sobre todo. More questions. Uh, there is a, a guy from Switzerland. I know him very well. How, you, how are you, Stefan? He asked me about the software. We have a software that called Bipro, Bipro Software. This software uh, was created for a French guy that called Renault Vargas. And since two years, we've been working with Renault to create a part of this software. No? We developed a part of this software that works with the concept method. No? That means that the people that come to our course the concept course, they are going to learn recipes from scratch with white paper. No, no computer, no software, nothing. Just white paper and we'll start to think and we'll start to create recipes. But we decided to create this software with Renault because what happened when you understand how to build a recipe and you understand the parameters that you need to control for build a recipe, you, if you have a tool like a software that helps you to go faster, uh, this is this is better, no? And for this reason, we created this this software with with Renault Vargas, and now this software is ready to sell. If you need more info, if you want more information, you can go to to our website jordibordal.com, and there is a, a space that called Bipro Software, and you go directly to this space, and you will see that there is a, uh, all the explanations of this software. And if you have more questions, the same, you can contact my team in the info and my team will answer all the questions that you have about this, this software. More books. <laughs> Is there any books you recommended to be able to understand the formula of ingredients for recipes and the functions of each ingredients? Uh, thank you for the question. I think that we can. what we can do is, for example, we are going to share in the histories some tomorrow some books that we are using you know, for learn about the, um, about the ingredients. And like that, you will have, all of you will have the, the names. There is a lot of books that speaks and tell about the ingredients, but the problem is that you need to link all this information, and this is what is difficult, and there is no books that explain this. And there is one person that asked me about the best chocolate that, that you can use. I'm using the company that I think that is one of the best companies. No, in, in the world, this is Felkling Company. This is a, fam a, a really familiar and a small company of 130 people that they work in a lovely way to create the best chocolates that they can. And this company is from Switzerland. And I work with them because I believe in their, pro in their, in their philosophy. No? They respect the origin of the beans. They respect the people um, of the of the region, they they have all the all the beans that they use on the production. They they are fair, fair trade, and this is for me it's really important. Then you have a Swiss production, no? And Swiss production is really good quality, premium premium quality, and they they try to do the best, no? And this is what what I use, no? Felklin Felklin chocolates from from Switzerland. Another question, how, how can you find yourself that you love this way? <laughs> Good question. How can you find yourself that you love this way? This, in my case, eh, pastry, uh, I discovered little by little. No, I started loving to work by hands. No, When I was a child, in the school, I was really bad. 
No, I, I never loved to do mathematics or something like that, no? And I was always working by hand and all that was by hand was amazing and for me and was really interesting. And for this reason, I became pastry chef, no? And then little by little, I was building my history, no? And little by little, I was discovering new things about me. If 10 years ago you ask me, you tell me that you are going to become world pastry champion, you are going to have a school, you are going to create a method to help the people to create his own recipes. If someone tell me all this, I think that I never, I never, uh, I never believe this. No, I, I never believe this. And for this reason, normally, uh, I think that life is like a kind of um, a kind of. ¿Cómo se llama escalera? <laughs> just when it when it just one second. It's a kind of a stairs, no? When your life is a kind of a stairs, and each step that you do in this stair helps you to improve your skills to improve your 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 life and you are ready for the next step no and you go little by little discovering what you like no and and this is the way that is like i discovered my my philosophy my and my way to do in my in my life thank you for this question okay there is a question from Tamar. What are what uh, what are the maximum temperature you can bake with gel and gum? Um, I th you can boil, but I'm not sure because this ingredient and I don't use too much, no. But I think that all the gums you can boil directly. Another another thing is that, for example, if you want to do a caramel, no, if you want to do a caramel, I'm not sure if it's going to work this gum, but you you can you can check, no. But if it's boiling boiling temperature 100 degrees, 104, 110. Uh, I'm sure that can gum, gel and gum can, can work perfectly. Thank you for the question. I think that uh, we have a lot of questions. We have not too much time. We will try to, to answer all the questions in, in the next history, uh, story that we will post in, in, our, in, our, in our Instagram. That is what's called. There is another question about my passion. No, how can you find your passion in this career? It's something that you discover little by little. No, in my case, wa was little by little that this was what uh, wa was my 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 life. I wanted to do this. No, but was not one day I decided. Okay, I I I'm going to become a world pastry champion and I'm going to start to teach the people. No, you start little by little. No, and at the beginning was just to find the way to express my myself. No, and this was. Was, was pasty. Stefan asked me about what what what's up with the praline bonbons. I don't understand the question, Stefan. If you <laughs> if you can send me more details about these questions. About the question about the chocolate. Now we are using a chocolate from Java. Uh, that is really interesting. This chocolate is made by by Felkling Company, and it's a kind of chocolate that have a smoke taste, no? And it's really interesting and really amazing chocolate. More questions. About about the books, I'm we are going to share some pictures about the books that we can recommend. Eh? We have a lot of questions about the books. We cannot yet recommend our book, but I hope that in the future we will have a book for you. Okay, we have enough time. I think that this is all for today. We will try 
in the next weeks to make another uh, another live. I hope that you will enjoy. And if you have any questions, please send the questions to Instagram. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you soon. Thank you very much for your support. Bye bye. Bye bye.